most important thing for me was probably how young the boys were and they thought they were going on an adventure. Uh, for me the most important thing was the true meaning of memorials and that they're not only decoration but also a grave for those whose bodies never came back and cannot be remembered. Yeah, um, I think the most significant thing for me was since my brother's 16 now, he's learning how to drive a car and then in 1914, 16 year olds were learning how to shoot a gun and now people like teenagers are like buying all these games that are like, you know, Modern Warfare and like Call of Duty and it, it feels really disrespectful to the people who actually experienced it. I think the most significant thing for me was probably how the lives of the men changed when they came back, if they really did come back because they would have bottled it all up inside them and wouldn't have wanted to talk about it and they wouldn't have said much or would have come out very much and their families would have been really impacted by it. This school's got a really strong tradition on personal learning for kids where they um, do great investigations of things of interest. And I was really keen for us to move into that shared social inquiry and zone of constructivism where they set each other's thinking alike and, and get more depth and breadth in their learning by learning about something together but in a way that, that tweaked their own interest. So the way we, we moved from the culture that existed around strong personal learning into what I think about as personalised learning for children is we had a lot of conversations about it, but, uh, but it was important for staff to do their own intellectual work and work at, work at their own pace and try some things, put it on, walk around in it, see how it fits for a while and, and see what needs to happen in order to get to that really clear goal we had about kids learning together as a social practice. So Sean's somebody who really likes practical information. What am I going to do? You know, and he does his intellectual work from the doing space. Um, so Sean needed to, to know what it looked like, he needed to know exactly what kids would be doing if they were working in that way and um, his way of thinking about how to make that happen was organisational, it was to set up the, the, the organisation in his class for children to operate in that way. So they started off with a simple mapping activity and it, they got interested in what was going on and they felt a sense of um, slight outrage I think initially that memorials about remembering and it's their legacy and, and the adults weren't actually honouring that well enough. So there was that emotional engagement in the learning and um, I think even though Sean did a lot of organisation around it, it probably took off um, because the kids generated the interest in it um, and he provided the scaffolding. It was uh, emotionally charged learning. They were passionate, they were interested, they were self-motivated, they involved a lot of adults in their learning and uh, got a similar response from them. So, so what is notice now? Notice now that those children are with a different teacher and again they're still driving that, um, that passionate engagement, engagement in community. So yesterday they went to Parliament. They asked to go there, they wanted to see how decisions were made um, and think about their involvement in community work.